welcome back now outlook has additional settings and if you go to the gear you're going to come down to the bottom you're going to click on view all outlook settings and the first setting you're going to see is going to be the layout and again you're going to have the opportunity to make sure that your focused inbox sorts your messages you can choose so that it doesn't sort messages at all here in this menu again you can choose the height of the message when it appears in your email box the default is the full and again you can change it to compact you can organize your messages by conversation or you can organize your messages by individual messages the one thing you'll notice inside of Outlook is that you can choose whether to show a sender's image which will include their initials if a photo is not available what you can do here is you can choose not to have sender images at all you can also choose again where your reading pane is going to be you can choose what's going to happen when you delete an email so for example what you can do is you can then open the previous item or open the next item you can choose what's going to happen when you initially sign in to Microsoft Outlook you can also choose your message list format as well as your text preview and the rest of the layout will include inline previews and date headers once you've changed what you want to change you can click save you can then go to your compose and reply settings now one thing you can do is you can create a signature that will automatically be added to all of your emails and you can use the WYSIWYG editor along with it so if you want to include an image in your signature if you want to make your signature different colors if you want to align it you can do that so basically you're going to create your signature and if you want this automatically included on all of your emails you can click this dialog box if you want them included on messages you forward or reply to you can then click this checkbox in terms of formatting you can show the blind copies as well as the from area you can choose whether the default will always be reply or reply to all now Outlook typically reveals a preview link inside of the email and you can choose so that when the link is presented you do not show the preview link or you can choose to have it inside of this area what you can see here is that when an email is going to be composed you're going to see the link preview if you choose that option so if you want to turn this option off you'll need to untick this button now currently you have by default an undo send setting and messages can be canceled up to 10 seconds so what you can do is you can choose how long Outlook will wait before it sends the actual message if we move this lever to 10 that means that we have 10 seconds but once you're ready to send your email you're going to click send you're going to see down at the bottom you have an undo command you can click undo in order not to send the email so what we're going to do right now is we're going to stop the video here and we're going to pick it up by reviewing more of the settings area okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video